Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Here's your host, Cyrus Webb. And welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again for our radio audience tuning in at WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com. We're glad that you all could be with us. Also, it's tuning in to our online affiliates around the world through iHeartRadio and Amazon Music. We're glad you all could be with us as well. When I say the name Amy Linden, many things may come to mind. Of course, she's known as a celebrity a coach, but she's someone also has been able to, through her Linden technique, help individuals around the world to be able to not only to, uh, to better themselves as actors, but also to be able to book roles doing what they love. We're going to talk to Amy not only about her journey, but also what it's been like for her to work with actors, to see the results, and also let you guys know what's coming up for her this year as well. Amy, so glad to have you back on with us. Thanks for the time. Hey, I'm so happy to be on with you. <laughs> well, so Amy, I, I don't even know. I like. I, I don't know why I put on makeup because I'm not <laughs> seeing you. But, but I felt like a need to put on some makeup and wow. be prepared. <laughs> well, look, I, I appreciate that. Well, Amy, th- I am first of all so excited for you. I've been staying. You and I haven't talked in a while, but. It's been great keeping up with you online. Again, the individuals you've been able to help. Of course, people know you as a celebrity acting coach, but literally, I've seen you, Amy. You've been working with people around the world. What has that been like for you, Amy, to take what you've been able to learn and to be able to share with others to help them in their own careers? I have to tell you, every time a student of mine tells me that they got this big job, I literally cry. They're like my children. (laughs) Yeah. Like one of my students is is a series lead in a, a TV show coming out on Paramount Plus. And when I when I looked at um her on the Drew Barrymore show, I literally cried. I was like, Wow, I've known this kid since she's fourteen. She's number one on the call sheet. Um wow. and it's called um Greece, um uh, Rise of the Pink Ladies. It's the prequel to Before the Pink Ladies, Before Grace. Wow, amazing, amazing. So, it's, Amy, yeah, it's incredible. Yeah, yeah, Amy. You, as I mentioned, you're known for what you've created with the Linden technique. I want to talk about a couple of things with that because when last time you and I talked, we talked about the Linden technique. But I want to talk about first of all what it's been like for you to own your own. I think for so many people. They're content with just being the next X, Y, or Z. When did you realize the the importance and the power in being the best you possible and using what you had to be able to help others? I think that you don't realize it um, until you start seeing the results. Um, I I keep my head down, you know. Um, And I remembered um, a couple of years ago I went to a restaurant and the girl, the waitress said, oh, my God, you're Amy Linden. And she started to, like, mist in her eyes. She goes, can I hug you? I mean, it was pretty unbelievable. So it it, it completely blew my mind yeah. that uh, she, my, my audiobooks have helped her. She has listened to me on podcasts, and, and, um, and it has helped her. And so to be able to help a community that nobody's out there to help, is an incredible thing. And it's something, it, and what you just said makes, I think, explains a lot. Amy, you said, you know, you keep your head down. You're definitely focused. You have not allowed yourself, even though you have many gifts, you have not allowed yourself to stray from your purpose. But talk to us about that part. When did you know it was your purpose? When did you know that helping others in this particular arena when it comes to acting and booking, that that was your, your lane? You know, I think we could find joy in many, many things. And if we would only allow ourselves to open ourselves up to the possibilities. I didn't know I was going to be a coach. I'm, you know, I've been an actress since I'm 10 years old. And and I'm still acting, but I'm just, my focus is my students. Um, And, you know, it came into my life. And then it was born from there. I didn't ignore it. And then I realized, wow, I get the same amount of joy from teaching and helping other people 
that I do when I'm acting on set and to accept the gifts that come your way and not deny them and just look at them and say, well, maybe God's sending this to me for a reason and I need to explore this and see what's up with it. Right. And the rest, as they say, is definitely history. And like you said, you are, I mean, acting is something that is not, it is something you know. So you know that world. Is it also what you think, Amy, has helped you in the area of trust? Because you're in an interesting industry like so many industries where, you know, people, you know, they're, that are out there who want help, the main thing they want to know is, am I working with someone I can trust? Your track record speaks for itself. But what has it been like for you to build that track record and that, and that level of trust with your clients? Yeah, I think uh you know, I'm like I'm like the booking fixer. Like I'm not like the doctor, I am the fixer. So they'll come to me kinda of a little broken because different people have said different things that have broken their spirit. And you honestly you can't be um a working actor or a have the big career that you want if you're feeling broken. You can't do anything in life if you're feeling broken. It, whether you wanted to act or whether you wanted to to get a big job, you really have to work on being okay with who you are and and fulfilling your power, you know? And um, when people started coming to me, their, their biggest thought was that I had that many IMDb credits, and it helped them say to themselves, well, she didn't just hang up a shingle, you know? Yeah that she's been doing it for a long time and I think she might be able to help me. And so that's what I've been doing for years is helping, um, not only helping them book a job, but helping them with the philosophy of finding who they are as an artist and what their gift is to the world. Exactly. And I think anyone who follows you, Amy, would definitely say you've been able to do just that. I want to say for those who are just tuning in, he's on the radio side or online. You're listening to Conversations Live. We're excited to welcome back Amy Linden to our program today. Amy is a celebrity acting coach, but also an individual who's been able to do what she loves in front of the camera, but now to be able to help individuals around the world. I, I mentioned the around the world part a few times, uh, uh, Amy, and it goes, it really fits you because you've been able to find different ways to be able to reach your audience. One of the things I think all of us use these days uh, is Zoom and these virtual events. Talk to us about that. What has that been like for you to add that into your your toolbox, so to speak, of ways you can connect with your clients and, and kind of keep keep in touch with them? Tell you the truth, I am not, I'm not, never going back to the theater because um, <laughs> then it limits me to the people that only live in Los Angeles. In my class, I'll have somebody from Germany, somebody from Australia, somebody that's in Tahiti or, you know, and and I get to reach people from all around the world and help them with their dream of becoming a working actor. And, and that's the beauty of Zoom. And the, that's like the only great thing about COVID for me was that I discovered Zoom and and I could be more international. Yeah, and I think and, that is and it. People, and, and, the people that yeah. are, yeah, and people that are there, um, they're there because they really want to be. Not to say that the people in Los Angeles who came to me at the theater, but a lot of people who came to me at the theater, their agent was about to drop them. Oh, go see Amy Linden; she'll help. And I don't want to be a, around people who are desperate. I want to be around people who have a real desire to learn the craft, to find themselves as an artist, and to build their career and not quit, and to be around winners. And I don't, there was a desperate energy around some of the people that came to see me to fix, uh, like, where were you like 50 auditions ago, you know, when somebody told you to find me. So now that you've lost 50 auditions, so now you want me to to help you, that's not the kind of actor I want to work with. 
And and you don't mind celebrating others. I saw this even as I was prepping for this a segment with you, uh, Amy. I saw on your page um, with someone like Michael Vincent Berry. You know, you made a post. You know, talking about that he was on fire. You know how how happy you were for him. I think that is that is something. Unfortunately, we don't always see in your industry, or quite frankly, maybe any industry these days, where where people are are using their platforms to celebrate others. But why has it been important for you to publicly do that, Amy? To make sure that you know, not only are you you rooting for them, but you're 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 watching them. You're watching them as their star rises. Yeah, I mean, I literally have. Sometimes I have them come over, and we watch it together and shoot it. It's really funny. Um, you know what? I think that's what a true coach is supposed to do: is to be in the lives of these people, not to not to just be a one-off. Um, you're helping them rise to the top. You look at any Olympic coach, they're with them every single moment until they get their gold. And they stay with them if they want another gold, you know. Um, I I think that, I, I will tell you this, I think that actors need to thank the people that help them get there, except for their team when they get their awards. That's just yeah. like a little side note. Because they didn't yeah. get there by themselves. Um because I know that athletes always thank their coaches, and for some reason actors don't do that. I don't know why. But anyway, um, I I am there rooting them on because I call myself a booking coach, and I created a booking technique. So if they're not booking, then something's wrong, and then I have then I'm basically a fraud, you know. Right. <laughs> yeah, and and. Uh, to the point you just made, that's one thing when people go to the website, uh, thelindentechnique.com, that that stands out, that you were – that that is, is, is what you've been able to do is to actually book. So they're not just coming to someone to say they're going to a coach or that they're taking a coaching class. They literally are coming there with a purpose. Purpose uh, – when it comes to the idea of purpose, though, Amy, that is not always – Easy for people to grasp. It's definitely not easy for people sometimes to pursue. Is that also part of the key, though, that you see for those who are going to be successful in acting or maybe even any profession, making sure that they have a passion, a genuine passion for it? I completely agree, but they also need community, which is what I provide. Yeah. Um, They need to be around like-minded people who also share the same passion. I think that a lot of artists are lone wolves, which causes a lot of depression. And if they could find their people, the people that are rising with them, and they're helping each other rise, and I'm I'm giving them the tools and cheering them on, that's a winning combination to get to what their purpose is. But without a passion and without a community and without um, positivity and and the willingness to forge forward even when you fall down, uh, it, it makes it very difficult to get to where you want to be because it gets harder the higher up you get. See, there's more you money, talk- but it gets harder. Yeah. I'm sorry. You, you you were just talking about that, and I thought about something else I had noticed when I was prepping for this, your accountability classes. Talk to us about that, if you don't mind, Amy, About because I think having someone who holds us accountable is so important. You've kind of created your own private membership club for actors with that. Talk to us about what that's been like for you to see the benefits of. Well, I think what's great about that is since I was a manager for nine years, and what I didn't like about the managing was the feeling of responsibility of finding a job for somebody, but what I did like about it was the hands-on approach to making sure that their marketing package was done properly, to making sure that their branding of what they were selling out there in the world was correct, and to make sure that when they said that they were going to do something, that they were accountable to somebody. So this accountability class, um, every like every month I have like four different classes in the club, and I also have um, people coming in to speak, and I have chat rooms, and I have a toolbox. I have a lot, of, a lot of stuff in the club. But one of the classes that you mentioned is the accountability class. So since it's once a month, we uh, they tell me what they're going to accomplish. And then when the month is up, I ask them if they've done it. 
And then if they've done it, I give them more homework assignments and more homework assignments until they've accomplished a what is called a comprehensive package. Um, and then once that's done, uh, we start talking about marketing, hmm. reaching out to casting directors. How can you find them? Uh, where where can you put yourself in front of people? What kind of clips do you need to create for yourself for the branding that that is your pictures, where everything matches? Because your resume needs to match your photos, which needs to match you, um, which needs to match your demo reels. And when all that matches, and it is what they currently hire on television, then you're out of development and you're easy for somebody to just take you on and, and click away and submit you for projects. Wow. Such a great thing. So a lot has been going on with you already this this year, Amy. Anyone who follows you online knows that. But what are you excited about as we're kind of going uh, through the rest of this year? What am I excited about? Well, I'm excited to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I appreciate that. I'm excited to talk to you, too. <laughs> you, too. <laughs> Look at this. I'm living in the moment. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm excited that I'm getting my body in shape. I went on – I've been on intermittent fasting, which has been great for me because, honestly, I've been on every diet known to man, and um, and I'm really enjoying it. Um, I'm excited about um, the success of my students. Um, mm-hmm. Like Michael Vincent Berry is going to be in Waco. He's in like uh, seven out of the eight episodes. And Carlos oh, Pratt wow. is going to be in Fatal Attraction. He's in, I think, five out of eight of the episodes or something like that. Um, yeah. And, I mean, it's crazy what's going on with my students. And look at Jose Chanchez on the game. I mean, they renewed the game on a different network, and now he's got his own talk show. I mean, come on now. Yeah. So um I'm I'm excited to continue to pursue um my writing. Um I'm thinking about writing a, the philosophy of acting. Mm. Um I've been thinking about that and and I'm in rewrites on that screenplay that I told you back way back, Odessa. So I'm wow. rewriting that again. Um I need to get that movie made. So if there are any people out there that want to work on a family urban it's got christian overtones movie starring a black woman and a young 10 year old white girl hit me up all right i gotta get this movie made i know it'll make money because it'll pull your heartstrings so there's that and then um i'm set to do a couple of movies and I have a movie coming out um, uh, soon, hopefully. (laughs) They're in post now. Mm -hmm. And so I've been mostly doing features. I was just going to say, so see, you have a lot to be (laughs) excited about. (laughs) A a lot for sure. And And that's what, again, is so great about what you've been able to do, Amy, is that as you are helping others, you're continuing to build your own. It goes to the point... What I was saying earlier, I think that's what is definitely so inspiring uh, about you and the work that you're doing. Again, everyone, Amy Linden has been our guest, celebrity acting coach, um, the creator of the Linden Technique, talking with us about her extraordinary success, but also what it's been like for her to see how those she's been able to work with have been able to thrive. And and then, of course, still working on her own projects. I mentioned it earlier, um, Amy, but let our audience know, how can they stay connected with you? Well, um, you can follow me on Instagram, and if you're an actor, tell um, DM me and tell me um, that you listen to the program, and I'll give you a discount for. Um, I have a Udemy course that you could do at your home, oh, um, wow. and I could give you a discount for that, and give you information about classes. But um, go to the LindenTechnique.com, um, and then. If you want to train with me, you have to start with the intensive. And then if you pass the intensive, then you qualify for the actor club. Love because it. the only people that are allowed in the club are master students. So I don't have anybody random in there. 
Right. Where I have people that I know, I know their work, I know who they are. Like the people in my classes, I pull them scenes that challenge them, that stretch them. You don't know the kind of career that you're going to have. Hollywood basically tells you. As a matter of fact, I had this guy who hated comedy. Seriously hated comedy. So what did I pull him? Comedy. Because he hated <laughs> it. <laughs> right? Sorry. So what does he go and book? A studio comedy movie playing a football player in a comedy movie. So he calls me from set. He goes, Amy, I am never going back to drama again. I love comedy. But he didn't know. He yeah. didn't know what his career was going to be. Um, you, you have to, as an actor, you need to learn everything, I think. I love that. I love that. Such a great message and such a great reminder for us, too, to stay open, right? To stay open for the possibilities yeah. out there. Okay, if you ever wanted to learn an accent, okay, what accent would you want to learn? You know, that's a great question. I, you know, I and I, you're talking to someone, Amy, who knows I, I only know English, and, and that's questionable. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but if I was, honestly, I took Spanish in school, so I think Spanish. No, but I mean like a dialect. So like mm. Irish. German, you know, maybe uh, maybe Swahili, maybe in English, Nigerian. yeah, an English accent, yeah. Oh, like British, British. You like to yeah. eat bread? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, very good, very good. <laughs> Top of the day to you. <laughs> that there you go. So see, I love that's the. Yeah, you're going to give me something now to, to think about because that is something. It is so fascinating to me to see individuals who you know, who are able to speak with different dialects or that have a dialect different than the characters that they're playing uh, and how they're able to make it, make it so, you know, so good. So I, I love that. So well, see, we have, we, we're going to have some work to do. You're speaking all the time. You're, you're speaking all the time. So I bet you, you will pick it up quickly. All you have to do is go to YouTube and type in British dialect or British accent. And I bet you, you could learn it really quickly. Wow. Well, you're going to give me something to work on then, Amy. Again, everyone, Amy Linden has been our guest. Make sure you guys are staying connected with her. Amy, always a pleasure. Again, the LindenTechnique.com is that website for you guys to go to. And, Amy, looking forward to our next chat together. Yes, thank you so much. I appreciate you so much. Always a pleasure. Appreciate it. I want to hear your dialect. Next time okay, I'm, I'm going to work on that. I'm being serious. I'm going to I'm going to work on it, and I don't want you laughing at me, Amy. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I'll laugh quietly. I promise. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That. Yeah. That, I can deal with that for sure. Again, everyone, make sure you guys are following Amy on Instagram, and we thank you all for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live. Until next time, I'm your host Cyrus Webb. Saying as always, enjoy your day. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your world. Thank you all so much for joining us today. Remember, as you heard Amy say, go out there, pursue your goals and dreams. Surround yourself with a group of individuals that will push you, that will help you toward your goals and dreams. Until next time, you all make it a great one. We'll talk soon.